Hey, it's Brendan, SI Casserole, and today I'm giving you the four exciting things about INFPs. So the very first exciting thing that I wanna share with you today has to do with a certain type of individual. And this type of individual may or may not be a hyper extrovert. It's a hyper extrovert. So hyper extroverts love INFPs, whether they know what an INFP is or not. All they know is they love this person. And the reason being is that extroverted people get their energy from interacting with other people. What do INFPs love to do? They love to listen to other people. So if a hyper extrovert or maybe just a regular extrovert finds an INFP, they're going to put a bookmark it and, and be like, I need to keep tabs on this person. Maybe I should become friends with this person. I need to converse with this individual because they will actually listen to me. As a caveat, I want to say that INFPs don't necessarily like being a part of conversations that are one-sided. So I'm not trying to say that INFPs like to just have somebody bark things at them because God knows if you start steamrolling over an INFP, they're going to become a ghost and be like, peace out, I'm not interacting with you anymore because they can't handle all the extroversion all the time. The second exciting thing about INFPs has to do with something, and I'm going to explain this to you using a scenario. So let's say you're at work and you are hanging out with your coworkers and a big problem comes up. Everybody who, you know, and most people are, you know, they try to think things through in a systematic way or in a tried and true way, meaning they're gonna use whatever the methods they've done in the past to solve a problem. So let's say they, all these logical minded people are trying to fix this problem and the problem just will not be solved. Enter the INFP. IFP may be in the workplace and they be, might be like, hey, I know y'all are trying to fix this problem. Let me see if I can do something here. I see all the moving parts here within this problem. I see what you all are trying to fix. I see that you all are neglecting these few things over here. You're not really looking at them. You're looking at these things over here. Let me look at these things over here, put them together and see if this can solve the, it solved the problem. It solved it. And now you got all the people in the workplace going, how did he or how did she solve this freaking problem? Like they solved it using something that I did not even think of. That's so out of the box. That's so crazy. This can be really exciting about INFPs. So before I jump into the third exciting thing about INFPs, I just want to say to y'all that watch my channel, please subscribe. I love it when you subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to get bigger so I can help you all out so I can make a living doing this. Right now, I don't do that. So if you've been here with me for a while or you're just really digging my content, I would just really appreciate you subscribing to me for sure. So now the third exciting thing about INFPs has to do with something that's not actually a real trait, but it's an ascribed trait to INFPs from my understanding. And what this is, is mysteriousness. So people say, INFPs are so alluring. They're so intriguing because of this mysteriousness. And I want to explain this. So mysteriousness, what is it? Okay, it's essentially people meeting somebody, they're meeting an INFP, and the INFP is really introverted. And they think that this INFP is one way. And when they actually have a conversation with this INFP, they're like, oh, okay, so this person wasn't the way that I originally thought. This person's actually this other way. And then enter the second conversation they have with that INFP. Then they're like, oh, there's more to this person than I thought. And then the third conversation with the INFP, oh my gosh, this INFP is like a freaking onion. I have to peel the layers back just to get down to the core. So this is almost like Wheel of Fortune. So if you remember the show Wheel of Fortune, there's like a, they put up a phrase and you, you can see how many letters are in each word. You have a category for the phrase and you may or may not have a few letters to guess the phrase. So this is the INFP to a lot of people. They have to fill in the blanks and this is what mysteriousness is. It's idealism. It's, okay, I don't know this person. I'm going to guess that this person is this way, this way, and this way. That's why people ascribe mysteriousness to INFPs because of the complexity and because of the introversion. This is dangerous because if a person is filling in the blanks with an INFP and then they actually see the INFP for who they are, they're likely to be disappointed. Not because the INFP is disappointing per se. I'm not saying that. All I'm saying is if a person has expectations and then they actually find out that those things aren't what I originally thought they were, that person is going to be like, well, I'm, I'm just disappointed just because it wasn't what I thought it was. 
So, you know, this sort of mysteriousness to some individuals is super, super exciting. It's alluring, like I said, it's attractive, it's sexy for some people. And the fourth exciting thing about INFPs that I'm going to share with you today has to do with something. So let's say you're hanging out with an INFP and, you know, you're just kind of like, okay, I know what this INFP is all about. I know, okay, I'm going to use myself as an example. I know Brendan's all into music and I know he makes YouTube videos and I know he likes hot peppers and he likes all these other things. And, you know, when I hang out with people, the, I might just be like, hey guys, guess what? I'm like, I've really been into like salsa music lately. And they'll be like, what? Salsa? What are you talking about, Brendan? So INFPs are exciting to others because they always have a new interest. So not all of these interests are going to be exciting to others, but when people are like, wow, this person is like, they have a zest for life. They're one to learn about a lot of different things. They are passionate. That is super exciting about INFPs. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching Psych Astral. Peace out.